Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. As many of us are preparing for the holidays and going about our busy lives this time of year, we have to be sure not to neglect our health, especially heart health. That's Absolutely. Right. Did you know that heart disease and strokes are the number one killer in women and disproportionately mm. affects African Americans? Yes. Here to make sure that we're informed and to test our knowledge on the subject, our resident doctor, Dr. Dave. Yay! Ladies. Good you, to Dr. see you. Yes, it's Dr. been Dave. a little time. We love yes. when you come down here because you, I love being here. You know everything. Oh my God! So, look here, <laughs> Tell Dr. my Dr. wife Dave. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Dr. Dave, why has heart health been um, looked over or misconstrued and not been treated appropriately, especially in women? In women, Ooh. yeah. This has been something that has been sort of a, a, a thorn for the cardiovascular yes. community, the cardiology yeah. community, yeah. Mm -hmm. for decades, literally, mm -hmm. 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, when we were understanding how heart disease manifests in people, we wouldn't include women. Wow. This, was a, this was a man's disease, you remember that? Wow. Why? Anything that wasn't reproductive health was not a priority when it came to women. Wow. Oh, it wasn't, oh and, it, and it wasn't like, you know, malicious, it just mm -hmm. was, hey, this is a man's disease. We, you know, we really need to be focusing on the things that are most important to women. Mm -hmm. And so we missed out on the fact that women, when we did the trials, because mm -hmm. they weren't in the trials, yeah. right? As a matter of fact, before I go on, the FDA had a policy to not allow childbearing age women in studies, in trials what? at all. What? So when you don't let those women in, you don't get that they have different symptoms from men because you're not studying them. Right. Oh, that's right? awful. You don't get that 50,000 African American women will die of heart disease this year. My God. Oh, my right? God. You don't get that African American women have double the rate of mortality from heart disease. You don't get that 20,000 Latina women will die of heart disease this week if you don't study them. Right. And so we had been really bad about this. And then in the 80s and 90s, we said, hey, this is not right. Something, we're missing something because right. 250,000 women in general women in general die more than men right. are dying what's going on okay. so we had to get to the bottom of that right yeah all right yeah, my god my god my god yeah. well dr dave we will be remiss if we had you down here and not play a game i like yes. to learn through games Me so uh, yeah. you're going to test us uh, yeah. we have these nice little hearts here yes. yeah. so it's a true and false game yes. if something is true we'll show you a full heart very happy mm. and loving yes. and uh, if it is false then we will show you a broken yeah. heart that's sad right. and blue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And let's have everybody out there play along with us yes. too. Yes. So let's do it. Please, if you want to tweet please. us or send us something quick and play along the game, you got to be fast. Yeah, let's be let's go. First question. Okay. Is true or false? Okay. okay. Ready? What we got? I work out and eat right. Okay. Heart disease is the last thing I need oh. to be concerned about. Now you guys know that. Now yeah. there's somebody who's watching false. who was like, mm, No, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. okay, like Jay-Z, okay. okay. Yes. Um, You've been to um, there are before. marathoners, there are uh, women that are marathoners, right now somewhere in the United States having a heart attack. Mm. It's not just because you're healthy and your lifestyle is great, uh, you know, heart disease can come from your genes, heart yeah. disease can come from families, and unless you go and hire somebody you trust and respect to examine you and let you know if you have right. heart disease mm -hmm. or the risks for heart disease, uh -huh. then you won't know. So the oh answer is false. Oh, oh my God. We did our okay. Yeah. All right. One and the one. The next doing one it. is. Now this is a big one, especially okay. now. Okay. Let's see. Low carb diets like Atkins and keto diets are good for heart disease. Oh. You sure? You sure? Are you sure? I was, I was I'm, thinking I'm about actually, it. Actually, I'm just. I, I believe that they are, but I'm just going. Yeah. Because because no. you kind of it was context clues, yeah. right? You did well in context school. I'm sure. Clues. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, so the truth of the matter is, these diets, both the Atkins and keto diets emphasize low carb and heavy fats and a lot of fat yeah. so artists. that's not going to be good right. for your exactly. heart exactly right honorary md for yeah. Celine johnson but well but no you got no 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 you do you do yes honorary md for yes. you yes. 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 yes man come on don't feel that she got it all. i got, got you now. i got it all. okay i got it right okay so, okay so 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 here's the deal right bad fat um makes bad cholesterol yeah. in your yep. body bad cholesterol makes plaque plaque makes heart attack and stroke mm. so, so keto diet's not good should should they people that are on those type of diets should they really just focus on better fats then yeah like well, is so, that, does that make a so here's what I want people to do because okay. one of the Dr. Dave isms is one size doesn't fit all. I need you to go and talk, talk with your, your doctor. doctor. Oh, okay. okay, that's right. good. That's, that's good. Do. All right, do we have time for one more? Maybe yeah. one more. One more. Really yeah. quickly. So um, heart problems run in my family. 
so I know I'm going to get it. Oh. I know I'm going to get it. No, that's not yeah, necessarily true. Yeah, that's, that's not, not true. necessarily true. But this is, this is yeah. really important because this hits on family history. Right. There are, uh, I had an example of a lady, young lady, 30 years old. Oh, my. Okay, she was in her early 30s. Um, and the statistic that women, black women, for example, mm -hmm. between 30 and 39 are twice as likely to have heart disease than any other woman. Well, here's this 32-year-old having a heart attack. It turns out when I was seeing her in the hospital, her family then starts to divulge how much heart disease is in the family. Well, Dr. Dave, know. we got to get you oh, to the wow. table so you can keep talking talking about yes, that. Yes, that'll be but, awesome. Um, if like you want to know idea. more about his uh, Prevent Clinic, go to preventatl.com and right. follow him on yes. Twitter and the good doctor on Instagram and everything else. And so stay with us because he's coming to the table and he's going to have it all going on. Yeah. All right, I love <laughs> it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> got the lady. <laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Now, we've asked Dr. Dave to stay and answer yes. some of our heart health yes. questions and more. Yes. Uh, I know, Quad, you're going to kick things off. I would yes. love to yes. because I know a lot of people may say, I don't feel anything. I don't have any symptoms. Should yeah. I worry about any issues with my heart? Mm -hmm. yeah, Period. Yeah. yeah, big myth, right? Mm -hmm. I don't have any symptoms. I shouldn't be worried about my heart. Right. Heart disease is the number one killer of all women. We know that. Mm -hmm. There are women who don't have symptoms and go on to actually die suddenly. Wow. There is only one way for you to know if you've got heart disease. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go get your heart checked. If you have a heart, you need to get it checked. Mm -hmm. Every adult woman that's listening to me right now and every yeah. adult woman who's listening to the person that's listening to me right now okay. Okay. needs to get their heart checked at least once. So what type wow. of, before you uh, interject, Selena, yeah. I know you got a question. What type, we go to the doctor and say, what type I of need test to have a heart check. Get right. a cardiac what what type that's of test? exactly what you do. You come see Dr. Dave, okay. literally. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and the point is, no matter where you are in the, in the country, you go see a physician and say, I want to have my heart screened. Okay. There's Please. a number of blood tests and some other testing, particularly a heart score, that I want every African American woman, every woman under the sound of my voice to get. What's mm -hmm. the score? Uh, the heart scared. score and the right. So come come see us and let's get your heart score. It is a diagnostic test that actually catches heart disease early. Mm -hmm. There is nobody that's listening that is We an should adult come to your office, Dr. Dave, and Absolutely. do it and have it a sister cam. That's wow. That'd be great. That'd be that'd be good. Good. Yeah, that'd be that'd be really good. That yeah. would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Why are we more why are women more susceptible than men when it comes to heart disease? Yeah, so um, this is a really interesting thing. Um, because of the benefits of estrogen, what happens is when the estrogen goes away around menopause, right around the change, mm -hmm. what happens is your cholesterol changes. So you could be completely healthy before menopause, right. Wow. right? Whether that's natural menopause or surgical menopause, sometimes people have to have hysterectomies. When you lose your, your natural source of estrogen, your cholesterol goes up, your blood oh, pressure wow. goes up, you start having mm. uh, more weight gain. I don't have to tell women that are uh, men postmenopausal about this. And those things actually accelerate, and women then start dying more of heart disease oh, than men. Oh my God. Men have more heart disease. Women die more. So the hysterectomy oh, okay. is a is a is a is that's an issue. Well, not an issue, but that is a factor. Let me let me be explicit here. So the hysterectomy is the removal of the uterus. It's the right, ovaries, ovaries where the estrogen mm -hmm. comes from. If the ovaries have to go too, right. then you can have surgical menopause. So they're more susceptible. Because they're more they susceptible have the, at that time because your that estrogen natural source balance is taken away. It's right. gone away. Now speaking of reproductive the re the reproductive system, I know um, in the the prior segment we were you were speaking about how. You know, women didn't get the diagnosis because they weren't in the test because they figured that if it wasn't reproductive, then yeah. it shouldn't be, we shouldn't even care mm -hmm. as far as women are concerned. Right. You know, we had Judge Hatchett on yesterday and she right. talked about her daughter passing um, because of the hemorrhaging after the childbirth. Mm -hmm. After C section, after second C section. C -section. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. After right. the right. C section right. and yeah. the, the childbirth. I wonder. Um, is there any correlation with that same mentality mm. as far as the reproductive system and the heart? Because, I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm definitely not a doctor, but the arteries and embolism and, and things that, you know, like what Serena Williams went through, Serena mm -hmm. yeah. right, Williams yeah. went through yeah. and everything, yeah. Is that all connected? Is that interconnected? It, it is all interconnected. To be clear, uh, Judge Hatchett's uh, daughter apparently hemorrhaged uh -huh. from a second C-section mm -hmm. where it looked like they didn't actually undergo and, and do the, the, mm -hmm. the, uh, the due, mm -hmm. due diligence right. to make sure she, she had um, a safe surgery. Um, and then she bled out, and it turns out that it, it, they probably waited too long to get That's to her. Exactly when what your I blood level say. goes down to a, a level, you can, your heart can stop. You mm. can have cardiac arrest, so and it can be very difficult God. to come back. Mm -hmm. Serena Williams had an, uh, an injury that had her leg immobilized, and she had a clot in her leg mm. that traveled to her lungs yeah. and mm -hmm. almost killed her. Chris Bosch had a very similar thing. Yes. So we've got these examples yeah. in, in sort of in celebrity where um, even clots can 
kill you. Yeah, yes. it goes to your heart. Maybe and, and, and kind of the same. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my sure. goodness. Yeah. Those pulmonary embolisms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. That's exactly yes. what it's called. Pulmonary yeah. embolism. That's yeah. correct. Well, yeah. to try to switch, this is not even really lighter, but I know yeah. this is something that I be wanting to know. That's for Burby or B. I love it. I be wanting to know. That's right. They be wanting to know. Yes. Okay, so every holiday, on Thanksgiving and on Christmas, yeah. people get their eat on. Yes. Okay, and they don't care what they eat. That's, I'm that's true. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll diet, I'll do what I'm supposed to do, I'll eat clean, but then I'll say on Christmas and Thanksgiving or New Year's Eve, I'm gonna do what I wanna do, you know? I think that a lot of people feel like that could ruin their lives, jeopardize their health. Can you dispel the myth that just because you have a, a day, a two or three even, during the holidays, of eating a lot, eating eating negatively, <laughs> that that would just ruin your life and put you down to the hospital. Yeah. So so let me let me say one thing. So there is a lot of dangerous mythology in our community mm-hmm. about health and what you can do and all that stuff. I'm going to say it again. Go hire somebody you trust and respect mm-hmm. to help you out. Mm-hmm. Right. You don't try to do your own taxes, and if you do, you probably shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Don't try to mm-hmm. you know diagnose yourself. Right. Mm-hmm. When we eat in Thanksgiving, there are certain groups of people, particularly people of African descent, that actually handle sodium and potassium differently. Mm. Therefore, you're more sensitive to sodium. If there's a lot of sodium in your diet at Thanksgiving, you get a big sodium load. You can go into heart failure. Craig oh Mack had heart failure. Yes. Um, um, uh, Queen Latifah's mother had mm-hmm. heart failure. Um, and you can raise your blood pressure to very dangerous uh, levels, right? Stroke. So while we are enjoying it, yes, you can. One size doesn't fit all, though. Okay. Yes, you can put yourself in a hospital. Mm. So you have to be careful with what you eat. You can indulge, mm. Mm. Yeah. but you have to be careful. And how do you know which one you can indulge in and if you don't go see somebody oh, yeah. that yeah. helps you understand? So that is right. the truth. You right. can right. put yourself yes. down to yes. the hospital. Yes. Yes. Down. Yes. Yes. So it is. Yes. So I'm glad. So I know you're doing something uh, in particular to combat this problem. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing to, you know, yeah. find some solutions. Yeah. No, we were really excited. We opened Prevent Clinic. Mm-hmm. This is a clinic, okay. um, and it's been a lifelong dream of mine to open a clinic where we are focusing on prevention. Mm-hmm. This is all. Awesome. 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 We know how to stop people from dying from heart attack and stroke. That's what we're doing. I'm just outside the perimeter on Roswell. If you are visiting or if you live here, get yourself in there with your families. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let's get screened for heart disease. So the oh, we're going down to the prevent. We need to be down to the clinic. Donna, we're going down to the prevent. Thank you so much. I can't guarantee I might not. It's fine. It's fine. We'll go in the new year when everything's better. Okay. Let's give it up for Dr. Dave. Again, if you want to know more about his prevent clinic, go to preventatl.com and follow him on Twitter at the good Dave doctor. Yeah, the, the good Dr. Dave. Come on now. Yeah.